Weeks of public wrangling about a downtown dome stadium may be at an end. You might say it's because of a surprise move by Harris County workers. As a result, there's a new shape to Houston's skyline tonight, but there's some question whether it's a shape that will appeal to the city's sports fans and team owners. We have this exclusive report. It was business as usual for ticket buyers at the Astrodome complex this morning, except for the fact that the Astrodome is no longer there. Well, when I pulled up out front out here, I couldn't believe I was at the right place. I came to buy tickets for the game on Tuesday, and it's not here. <laughs> for fans Laura Bourgeois and Don Carter, the truth was strange indeed. I've come here for years to buy tickets, and suddenly here was the booth, but no stadium. Amazingly, the Astrodome was on the move. Soon we learned its destination, downtown, smack dab next to the George R. Brown. Wow, it looks like they did it. Houston newsman and author Ray Miller had to see it for himself. It seems impossible, but you know, back in the 1960s, there were people who thought the dome was impossible to build. Anything's possible in Houston. It took years to build the dome, but in only a matter of hours, it had a new home. This leaves the questions, how and why? We can't build a new stadium, it's flat and simple. I, there's not enough money out there to do that. So the alternative there is to move the stadium that we've got and put it in the, uh, the location that a lot of people want a, new, a stadium to be in. And of course, that's the downtown area to help the downtown businesses more. At a news conference, Houston Mayor Bob Lanier expressed surprise. They moved the Astrodome downtown, did they? Was it on wheels? For the answer to that question, we went to Fred Hofheinz, son of the late civic leader Roy Hofheinz, who was the driving force behind the creation of the Astrodome. In 1965, there was a lot of discussion about where to locate the Astrodome. Roy Hoffines knew that someday it would have to be moved, and he wanted it designed with wheels underneath it. The commissioner's court agreed. They kept it secret. No one has known it until this day. You want to talk about the dome? Soon, the big move was the hottest topic on radio. Of course, you can never make Bud Adams happy. Now, how is he going to react? He has his wish. He wanted a downtown stadium. He's got it. It's just the fact it's the Astrodome. Reaction from the downtown crowd was positive. It's actually a quicker trip from my house. So I, I like the idea. I hope the food prices go down. The most satisfied fan might be Judge John Lindsay. He's got a new view. One of the biggest projects Harris County's ever done, of course, has been the, uh, the Dome Stadium. And I, as county judge, the administrative official of Harris County, now can look out the window and see the Dome Stadium, the stadium that belongs to Harris County. It's April Fools. Watch out. <laughs> That's right. Watch out.